Be go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Deputy Governor Deputy Governor appeals to IPOP orders over seats at home. Deputy Governor appeals to IPOP orders over seats at home. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Bayasal State Governor, Senator Lawrence Ekrujako has called on the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and other separatist groups in the southeast to reconsider their stand in the interest of peace and economic well-being of the region. He also lodged the church, particularly clergymen, to be to be more sincere and fervent in seeking the face of God concerning concerning the security economic and political rules currently bent evil in the country. Ewurjakpo made the call while granting audience to a delegation from the Trinity Theological College, TTC, Umaya, Abia State in Government House, Yenugwa. The deputy governor in a statement by senior special assistant on media, Mr. Dobara Atasi, pointed out that the sit at home order and other measures being employed by the various non state actors had caused colossal damage to the southeast economy and the and the country in, in general. Expressing displeasure over the pain the situation is inflicting on ordinary citizens, especially in the Southeast Senator Euro Jackpot appealed to all good spirited leaders across the country and beyond to come together and proffer solution to the crisis. According to the bias our number, number two man, God still answers prayers and uses people in addressing, in addressing problems that ordinarily seem beyond human comprehension and solution. He therefore stressed the need for the church to always stand in the gap in prayers for the world and its leaders, particularly in troubled regions where war, turmoil and terrorism are holding sway. We need to talk about our society because in Nigeria, people pretend and when you pretend over your problem, it becomes hydral added. If you don't solve that problem, it becomes tool and multiplies from there. Unfortunately, what is happening in the southeast? We think it is only affecting the people of that region. No, it is gradually affecting the whole country indirectly. When you shut down to the state economy, every Monday consecutively, you are not helping the society.
So, those behind it should reconsider their position. What do you actually gain by inflicting pains on your own people? So, we really want to task you because there is nothing that is impossible with God. Anything God cannot do is not on earth. That is why the things God has done in the past and things that He is yet to do are very many. I really want us to pray because I believe that prayers have helped countries and if there are people ready to pray, there is a God who is always ready to answer. But we must pray fervently and sincerely, he said. While thanking the delegation, which mainly consisted of students of the college for the visit, Senator Ewuri Jakpo, and joined them to take their training seriously, stressing that a lot of spiritual and intellectual discipline is always required for one to become to become a thorough bred Orthodox priest. He retreated his appeal to gospel preachers not to emphasize prosperity at the detriment of salvation of man in their messages in their messages, adding that the pulpit should be used to promote morality in the best interest of God and society. Speaking earlier, the permanent secretary of the Trinity Theological College, Umaya, Reverend Chuku, Chukuka Ekejuiba, said the college was established in 1974 solely for the training of Anglican priests, but it is now open to other denominations for learning. He expressed gratitude to the bios or deputy governor for his open door policy and kind disposition towards them and equally soli solicited the state government support to enable the college rehabilitate its dilapidated infrastructure as well as equip the information technology unit to my dear listeners now we've come to the end of our today's news Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.